which we see as one of the hubs of the localization movement worldwide. In fact, within the industrialized world, I feel that you in Portland have actually moved further than almost any other town that we know of. And so, we see, yeah, let's have a hand for Portland. TTIP, the Trans-Pacific 
yeah, I'll try for counting them in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so so TTIP, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership on the one hand, and then TPP, which is the Trans-Pacific Partnership. How many of you know about the ISDS clauses, the investor state dispute clauses in those treaties? There are not so many. But those investor state dispute clauses are just beyond belief. I mean, they are reifying. They are carrying on with an agenda that has already been accelerating since the ratification of NAFTA and the GATT where corporations have been suing governments for and for in any way harming their anticipated profit. So these new clauses are being brought in that literally say we will have the right to sue a government if you do anything to protect your environment or your labor and if that in any way impedes our profit. So already now a Swedish nuclear power company I'm from Sweden originally, and we voted virtually unanimously against nuclear power. But the government managed to say, okay, later, we'll get rid of it later, and slowly, slowly, the movements grew weaker, and we do have nuclear power in Sweden. Anyway, Swedish nuclear power company named Waterfall, Vatland Fund, Swedish, for those of you who speak Swedish, Waterfall is suing Germany for 3.7 billion euros because they decided to phase out nuclear after, after Fukushima. In the meanwhile, another company is suing France for increasing their minimum wage. They're being sued. <laughs> Australia is being sued by Philip Morris for their cigarette packaging, where they warn very carefully um, and very clearly the dangers of smoking. So I believe that we have an opportunity like never before to very rapidly build a movement away from globalizing, which is what this represents, deregulating global banks and corporations, globalization, economic globalization is what that is, towards even shifting our subsidies, our tax monies, our investments in infrastructure, our regulation, to strengthen local economies worldwide. There are other issues around looking globally which so strengthen the arguments for localization. One of them is that many people have thought in the last decade or so that the best way to end poverty in the third world, so-called, is to give women a loan, is to educate women and give them a loan. So let's support the schools in Nigeria, in India, in Ladakh, in Bhutan, and especially focus on women, and then let's give them a microcredit loan, and we have solved overpopulation, poverty, all the problems we face. As it turns out, 99% of those schools are training people for a job in the city. They are linked to a corporate globalizing economy. They end up contributing to mass urbanization, mass poverty and unemployment. Uh, the microcredit is about bringing debt into rural areas where there wasn't debt before. So you'll be hearing more about this. Maybe many of you are more fair with these issues, but I know that there are so many people out there who aren't and who could be doing so much more to strengthen local economies and realizing also that at the heart of the local economy lies food and food production. So for us, in rethinking the economy, shifting from global to local, we need to place basic needs at the center. Food and healthy, diverse, fresh, wholesome food for people worldwide needs the strengthening of localized, at least regionalized factories shortening the distance between producer and consumer, diversifying production. This is something that most people will recognize as a fundamental importance. But we need a stronger movement. We need, even in Portland, I'm afraid that if we did our research, probably only 15% of the food consumed here would be from the region. We can move towards 
What would the ideal be that needs to be developed through research and discussions? The ideal, the optimum, maybe 60, maybe 80 percent of the food? Certainly more than 15. So thank you so much, all of you are important for doing what you're doing already. And we hope that you are going to be part of our international alliance. We are hoping that you'll be interested in being one of the central hubs for this localization movement that is growing globally, it's growing rapidly, it's inhabited by people who every day, as they engage in this movement, gain strength, gain wisdom, and gain hope. Thank you.